In this video, we will find out the hoop stress and longitudinal stress in pressure vessels. Pressure vessels are used in transportation and storage of gases and liquids. There are two shapes of pressure vessels that are commonly used in the industry. The spherical pressure vessels are ideal because they have a uniform stress distribution in all directions. Rectangular pressure vessels can have high stress concentration in corners which can result in weakness or premature wear and tear of the vessels. So spherical pressure vessels are more safe because of the uniform stress distribution and minimum stress concentration. The pressure vessels are subjected to catastrophic failures, explosions due to temperature pressure rise or crack formation in the vessel metal. The stresses that are produced in a cylindrical pressure vessel are called hoop stress which is given by this equation. It is also called as a circumferential stress because it is acting along the circumference. The second stress that acts on a cylindrical pressure vessel is the longitudinal stress. It is also called as the axial stress because it is acting along the axis of the pressure vessel. That is why it is called axial or longitudinal stress. But in the spherical pressure vessels, the hoop and the longitudinal stresses are equal and there is uniform stress distribution in a spherical pressure vessel. This is the geometric information of the pressure vessel that will be used to create the geometry. The outer radius of the pressure vessel is 400 mm. The wall thickness of the pressure vessel is 3 mm and opening diameter is 100 mm. The length is not important. We can choose any length of the pressure vessel. The ratio of outer radius to the inner radius is less than 1.10 so that means it is a thin wall pressure vessel open and silver bench go to static structural and double click we will not change the engineering data because by default structural steel has been selected as material double click on the geometry tab to create a geometry in ANSYS space screen First, we will select the plane. Go to this button, select new sketch plane, select XY plane, and then press this button plane view to see the XY plane. Now, press this button construction line and start the line from origin having length of 1500. Press Z to zoom to fit. Now use this circle tool and draw a circle at the origin. The diameter of this circle is 800 mm. Press enter. Draw another circle on the other end of this line. Diameter is 800 mm. Now use the line tool and draw a line tangent to both the circles having length of 1500 mm press enter press z to zoom to fit now again use the construction line and draw a line on the second circle the edge of the circle now activate the line tool and draw a vertical line having length of 100 mm. Then join this line to the first circle. Now use the trim away tool and delete the unnecessary lines. Now we will use this tool create rounded corner and select this edge. We are rounding this edge to avoid stress concentration 
enter any value around 100 mm and press enter. Now click on select, press the hold key and select these curves. There are total 5 curves selected and then press the offset curve button. As the thickness of the pressure vessel was 3 mm, enter 3 mm and press end. Zoom into this area. You can see the sketch is open. We will close the sketch by a line. Press Z. Zoom into the other end and close the sketch here as well. Now go to the design tab and press pull. A surface has been created and we will revolve this surface around this axis to generate a pressure vessel. For this purpose, select this surface that we want to revolve. Select this revolve button. Then select the axis about which we want to revolve this surface. And then press the space button. Now we can enter the value how much we want to revolve the surface. We want to revolve this surface complete 360 degrees. So we enter a 360 degree value and press enter. The geometry of the pressure vessel is now complete. Now double click on the model button. It will open ANSYS Mechanical. Click on Mesh. In the details of the mesh, in the element size, enter a value 20 mm to be the element size then click generate a fine mesh has been generated now we will apply the bonding conditions first we will apply the support go to static structure select pick support rotate the model zoom into this area and select this edge and then click apply click zoom to fit to see the isometric view click on this circle now we will apply the pressure force at the inside surface of the pressure vessel click on static structural now click on the pressure the pressure should be applied at the inner surface so we will create a section plane so go to this button section plane and then press this button new section plane first press this x axis line and then draw a line for section plane now press this circle to see the isometric view. Now click on this face selection button. Select the faces on which we want to apply the pressure. Select this face and press the control key and select the second surface. Now click on the pressure button and select details. First we will apply the geometry click on apply in the magnitude tab enter a value of 1 megapascal zoom in to see the direction of the pressure force it should be outward to the surface now we will apply the pressure force on the remaining surfaces click on static structural now click on the pressure, now select the remaining surfaces, 
click apply enter a value of 1 mega pascal zoom into this area see the pressure is acting outward to the surface now click on the solution button then click on the stress button and we will evaluate the normal stress in the x direction the normal stress is the longitudinal stress we will rename this stress as longitudinal stress again we will add another normal stress component but this time we will change its orientation to z axis along the z axis the stress is pool stress we will rename this stress now click on the solve button now click on the longitudinal stress and click on the edges and select known wireframe to have a clear view and select the true deformation by using this true scale to see the actual deformation in the pressure vessel now we will probe the stress in the longitudinal part of this pressure vessel which is around 66 mega pascal the highest stress is around 80 mega pascal where the elliptical ends are started so we we will ignore that part because it is due to the stress concentration the longitudinal stress is around 66 mega pascal now we will look at the hoop stress and the maximum value can be probed which is around 133 mega pascal now we will compare our ansys results to hand calculation to validate our solution for the hoop stress the equation that is used is p pressure times r radius and divided by thickness of the pressure vessel so pressure is 1 mega pascal radius is 400 mm and thickness of the pressure vessel wall is 3 mm so the stress the hoop stress is found to be 133 mega pascal the longitudinal stress is found to be 66 mega pascal so our hand calculations are matched with the ansys results so our solution has been validated thank you for watching this video